the second answer we must give is perhaps a very forgotten element, but a very necessary one. The economic life must serve to the welfare of the individuals. And not the individuals have to serve to the welfare of big enterprise. Responsibility in economic lives, in my eyes, in the eyes of my colleagues in the European Parliament, of the European social democracy, is everything what happens in economic life must contribute to social cohesion and must contribute to a sustainable, long-standing framework for the states and within the states for the citizens, not to guarantee them that they can uh, become millionaire in a foreseeable time. No state, no party, no economy can guarantee to lead to super wisdom for everybody. But to guarantee a decent life for citizens in economy and by economy. That's in my eyes the main goal of social democracy. You, young people, what's the perspective for your future? We cannot promise to you that everything what you are wishing for your future will arrive, but what, what we should guarantee to you is that those who on the base of a good education in the future will deliver their contribution by working in the society. Can count that the society guarantees that those who work 8, 9, 10 hours a day can get a salary which guarantees a decent life. What's that a decent life? I repeat, nobody expects that we make people to super rich citizens. But a decent life is that with the salary I get, I can live in an appropriated apartment or a small house. That I can buy my clothes. That I have enough to eat. That I perhaps once the years can go to holidays. Not big ones, small ones. That I have a small car. And that I can find a partner with whom I can found a family, get children. And that for my children, the perspective is that they have such a good education, that the state presents to them such a good education. And I, with my salary, contribute to a good education for my children that they one day, on the base of a good education, can get a job. And with the job, get a salary to guarantee a decent life. What's that, a decent life? To get an apartment, clothes to eat, to have a small car, to go to holidays to find a partner, to build a family, to get children, and so on. Decent life is a promise to a sustainable and reliable framework or a state, or a state in an international state union like the European Union, to organize an economy which gives guarantees to the people that, I repeat what I said, the first answer is we must serve to the interests of ordinary people, and not the ordinary people in the mass have to serve to the interests of big, free, floating international capital. That's the enormous difference between us, 
the social democrats in Europe, and those who tell another story. Only the free, uncontrolled markets generate such benefits that we have enough to distribute and to satisfy at the end the wishes and the demands of ordinary people. That was the ideology of the last 10, 15 years. 